Water Safety Wednesdays, Water Safety Wednesdays. La 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 la. Hey! La 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 la. Hey! Water Safety Wednesdays, Water Safety Wednesdays. La 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 la. Hey! Hello! Good morning! Water Safety Wednesdays is back! Good morning, Tracy. Tracy's already in. Oh, I'm so interested to know who's watching today. If you joined in with the lockdown series of Water Safety Wednesdays and you're back for more, put BFM in the comments box so I can see who's, who's with us again. It's pretty breezy here today. So the last uh, series of Water Safety Wednesdays was all filmed from my kitchen. But today I am broadcasting live from a Haven holiday park in Hopton. This is much better and the sun is shining for the first time this month which is cool. Who have we got? Who's watching? 252 people watching already. Awesome. Ah, before we start, I want to give you a quick tour of this cool holiday park I'm at. We've got an outdoor pool. That pool is shut to the public at the moment at the moment because it's so cold but we might have someone going in it later oh. behind me in that building we have got an indoor pool with a slide the flume i love a flume we've got a lovely outdoor seating area where you can grab a coffee and a cake oh there's people waving and uh, we've also got um Crazy golf, mini golf, a mini golf course. I love mini golf. I'm a professional mini golfer. Um, so yeah, it's a cool place and the sun's out. I'm so pleased. We've also got some special guests on the show today. The first special guest is a really good friend of mine. I'm so pleased he's on the show with me today. His name is Nick, here he is. Hey everybody. Nick is a lifeguard. He's been a lifeguard for, for years. How many years have you been? A lifeguard? Probably about 10 years, I'd say, Liam. 10 yeah. years. Yeah. 10 years. Um, so Nick is also, oh there you are, is going to be answering some questions at the end of the episode. Questions that you might have for an RNI lifeguard. So grown-ups, children, anything that you would like to ask an RNI lifeguard, put that in the comments box. Now, Nick's going to be watching the episode on his phone, looking for some quick, good questions to come through and writing them down on the clipboard to answer them at the end. So get those in now. And the other special guest we have today, you might be able to guess who this is. You might be able to guess who this is. He's big and strong. He wears a yellow suit. He volunteers for the RNLI. He's got a big beard. Do you know who it might be? Stormy Stan. But I've not seen Stormy Stan yet, so if you see him, put a comment in the box and let me know where he is. In fact, I'm going to go and ask reception if they've seen him because he really is meant to be on this live show. Karen, BFM. Hi, Patrick. A few comments coming in. Um, unpopped reception asked where Stormy Stan is. You hang here for a bit. I'll be back in a second. Reception have no idea where Stormy Stan is. It's annoying. Oh, he's meant to be with me. Um, he'll turn up, I'm sure he will. So, um, for those of you who joined me during the lockdown series of Water Safety Wednesdays, you will remember our... Oh, the sun's shining on it. Let me move you a bit closer. The sun's still shining on it. You'll remember our Be Safe, Have Fun poster with Stop and Think, Stay Together, Float and Call 999 or 112. We're going to be doing a quick recap of that um, and also having some fun for the next 15 or 20 minutes or so. So the first point, stop and think. With that in mind, I'm going to show you some really nice places that we have close to us here in Hopton. They're really close to this Haven Holiday Park. Place number one. This is one of my favourite beaches. It is 
Galston Beach. Look at that lovely sand. So when you first arrive somewhere like this, you're going to be excited, like I would be. Really excited to get your bodyboard out, get your bucket and spade out, eat an ice cream, jump in the sea. But before you do all that fun stuff, we have to stop and think. What would we be stopping and thinking about? Put it in the comments or to just discuss it between yourselves at home. I'll tell you what I'd stop and think about. I'd firstly be stop, stopping and thinking that that water will be cold and it will be moving always. And I'll also be thinking, where are the lifeguards? And where have they set up their red and yellow flags? And that is where I would go. And that's where I'd spend my day. So the lifeguards can mark out a safe area for me to swim. And they can keep an eye on me all day. Lovely beach. Okay, place number two. Only a few minutes drive inland. We've got the Norfolk Broads. Check out this cool spot. By the river. How lovely is that? How nice would it be to go for a nice picnic on the grass here? But if you did that, what would you have to stop and think about? Oh no, all my other pictures got blown away in the wind. I'd be thinking that river is going to be deep. There might be underwater hazards and that'll be cold too. So you don't want to go too close to that edge. Stay away from the edge, especially if you're going to be playing with balls or playing frisbee or anything like that. Don't go too close to the edge. Ah, and the other picture that I was going to show you was a, a picture of a, a Norfolk Broads boat cruising around, but uh, that's gone now. That's something else you can do here. And if you go out on a boat, you should always wear a life jacket. So that brings us on to stay together. Stay together. Talking of stay together, where is Stormy Stan? He was meant to be with me today. Staying together is really important, especially on busy beaches because it's really easy to get lost. When you first arrive at a busy beach, try and arrange a meeting place just in case you get separated. It only takes a split second for someone to get in trouble. So staying together, adults keeping a close eye on your uh, kids, kids staying close to your grown-ups, that will help keep you safe too. Stormy! Nick, have you seen Stormy Stan? I saw him a minute ago and he was out of view. There he is, Liam, there he is. Oh, I found him, I found him. Stormy? Stormy Stan, I've just been telling everyone on the live video how important it is to stay together and you ran off. Ah, oh, Stormy Stan's a joker. But you're with me now and I've found you. I'm glad about that. You're a funny man, Stormy. Okay, you look cool. <laughs> cool. We'll come back to Stormy in a second. Thanks, Stormy. Um, but we're now on to... Number three, float. And this is where our lifeguard, Nick, is going to be getting into the pool. The freezing, freezing, freezing cold pool. But he's wearing a wetsuit, so we're, we're safe. And he's a, he's a lifeguard, so he knows how to look after himself. What do we mean by float? I've got a feeling that some of you, some of you might know what we mean by that. If you were to get in trouble in the water, what would be the best position to float in? Do you, any of you know? I bet some of you do. Write it in the comments box or discuss it between you at home. Oh, I need to grab my stand. And then Nick's going to show us the float position. We'll see if you got it right. Let's have a look. Okay, Nick. Not yet, I can't. Oh, I pressed the button. Are we still good? We're still good. Okay. There he is. Okay, so Nick, we're going to come in a bit closer. We're going to pretend you are in trouble in the water. Show everyone on the live video what position you would get into to keep yourself safe. Okay, so I've gone to my back. So he's going onto his back. He's extending his arms and his legs. He's leaning right back in the water. How cold is it, Nick? Pretty chilly. Pretty chilly. <laughs> it's about 13 or 14 degrees in there. <laughs> so Nick's ears will be right in the water, his head will be right back, and his chest will be up 
and he'll just be floating there. And then when he feels calm, he'll reach out his hand and shout for help as loud as he can. Whoa, my laptop stand just fell over. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold on to that. Can you hear Nick shouting for help there? And then if you can, swim to safety. If you can, swim to safety. Perfect, that's good, Nick. The sooner you can remember to get into that float position, if you're ever in trouble, the better, because thrashing around, you'll get tired very quickly. Just stop and float. Okay, good. So, Nick is now going to show us how fast an r and lifeguard can swim. So if you choose, in the summer, a lifeguarded beach, firstly, they will make sure they set out a safe swim zone. But secondly, if we do get in trouble, they are there to help. And all of the lifeguards go through fitness tests to make sure they're ready if anything happens. Nick, are you ready to show everyone how fast you can swim? Yeah. Okay. Swim to me, Nick, if you can. That float that Nick's got there, towed behind him, once he gets to the person in trouble, he can pass him the float, pass him the float, and then tow them back to safety. Nick, that was really quick. Rapid. Nick's a weapon in the water. Um, well, the Nick, perfect. So, if you are in trouble in the water, you float on your back. Here's a question. What would you do if you saw someone else in trouble? I'm going to give you a clue. What would you do if you saw someone else in trouble in the water? Here is your one clue. A mobile telephone. What do you think you'd do? Yes, you would call 999 or 112 immediately and ask for the Coast Guard. The other things you can do, you want to keep an eye on that person in trouble in the water, encourage them to float on their back. So if Nick was in the water, I would be, I'd say, float, float on your back, okay. float on your back, okay. float on your back. That's it, that's it. Calm yourself down, float on your back. That's perfect. Encourage them to float on their back and then keep watch until that help arrives. By simply doing that, you can be a hero, you can be a lifesaver. And if you can, you can even try and throw them something that floats. But Stormy Stan is going to be doing that today. We've got a couple, oh, hang on. We've only got one ball. There we go, here's Stormy. Stormy's back. Yes, Stormy, hi Stormy. So do you know what you're doing? Yeah, you do? So Nick's in trouble in the water and we need to throw him something that floats. Okay, what can you find? Anything? Oh, oh, what's Stormy found? A ball. Good decision, Stormy. A ball floats. Okay, Stormy, on three. You're going to throw that ball to Nick, okay? One, two, three. Stormy, this is serious. It's a good job Nick's not really in trouble. Oh, what are you like? Okay, we've got to get it to him this time, Stormy, okay? Okay, Stormy, one, two, three. Grab hold of the ball. Swim to us, kick your legs. Swim to us, kick your legs. That's it, well done, well done. Perfect. Stormy, well done. That second throw was really good. The first one was terrible. <laughs> so, call 999 or 112 immediately, ask for the Coast Guard, keep an eye until the help arrives, encourage them to float on their black back and throw them something in the floats if you can. Easy. So, now, thanks Stormy, 
we're going to move on to the questions and answers with Nick, our lifeguard. Nick, did you get a chance to watch and yeah. write a few down? Yeah? Look. Awesome. Some great questions coming. Hey, remember when my laptop stand fell over and I had to catch it mid-video? That was good fun. Oh, I'm going to smack my laptop up. Port oh, Safety Wednesday's over. But we're still here, it's good. Still live. Okay. Ah, oh, I've got this uh, wand. So we can do a safely distanced interview, Nick. It's nice and warm in there, Liam. <laughs> Is it? Lovely. <laughs> You're braver than me. I'm glad Nick yeah. had to do that part. Oh, what are they best? Is everyone still there? Yeah, okay, good. So yeah, we've been having quite a few questions come in, Liam. Have you? Yeah, okay. it's been great. So James asked a really cool question. How far can you swim? Um, so as lifeguards, r and lifeguards, we have to complete 400 meters in the swimming pool every month as a fitness test. So um, all the lifeguards go in each month, do 16 lengths in the pool to stay nice and fit. So we can swim quite far. Um, Oliver had one. Uh, have you ever been on a lifeboat? And if so, which one is your favorite? And Oliver, I have. I've actually been on quite a few. And I would say my favorite is the latest lifeboat, and that's the Shannon class. As it's really fast and it's really uh, nimble, it can really move quite quickly. And then Harry actually asked a question about rescuing someone. Um, he asked, uh, What was the biggest rescue you've had? And actually, Harry, um, Using my rescue board, I paddled out to a small boy on an inflatable boat who just got taken out by the wind. Um, that would say, I'd say that was the biggest rescue I've done. He was quite scared um, and he was clinging on to the board nice and tight. But he shouted for help and I came out nice and quick. So yeah, some really good questions there. Great, great questions. Nick, I've got a couple of questions as well. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, can you tell everyone watching about the rescue that you carried out on Galston Beach years ago, the the beach that I showed everyone a picture of right at the start. The start, yeah. So Galston Beach, um, like Liam says, it was a few years ago now. Um, there were two young girls. Um, I think they were around about 14 and 10 at the time. Um, they'd gone down to the beach without their parents um, early in the morning. It was about eight o'clock, and we as lifeguards were doing our fitness tests. And we saw them, we spoke to them, said, to, you know, stay out of the water, wait until the lifeguards come on, and you need to be down here with your parents so they can keep a watchful eye. Um, unfortunately, one of them went in the water, the oldest, so the 14 year old. Um, and whilst we were doing the fitness test, we heard uh, one of the girls shout for help and wave. And at this stage, we ran down, uh, we didn't have any rescue equipment, and we swam out to the girl and at, th at that time the 10 year old girl was swimming out to the 14 year old to try and try and rescue her um, we got there nice and quick we pulled them in um, and I think it just really highlights that staying together and always going to a supervised patch you know where your parents are good advice Nick thank you for that um, so um, as a very quick summary Nick last question what advice would you give everyone watching that will help keep them safe heading into the colder months? I think it's all here really Liam, there's four really good points and I think if you all take those on board, stop and think when you're approaching the water, um, staying together whether that's in your group or with your family, with your parents, uh, if you get into trouble in the water, float like we just demonstrated in the pool, that's the best position you can get into um, and then if you're on land don't ever enter the water after somebody. Always pick up the phone and call 999 or 112 for the emergency services. Remember that, practice it, and you'll be fine. Great advice, Nick. And if you're going to go for a swim over the winter, go to a swimming pool, a supervised location where there's lifeguards working. Okay, so last point. Uh, in the description of the video below there is a takeaway activity It is the spot the dangers poster it's one of my favorite ones it's like a, a where's Wally but for water safety and you can see if you can find all of the dangerous things that are happening and that I think is us everyone coming to the picture from everyone at Haven and the Arnold Eye have a lovely half term really enjoyed being on Water Safety Wednesdays again until next time, stay safe and we look forward to seeing you again. Bye everyone! <laughs>